the job here today was to assist New South Wales uh, Fire and Rescue to uh, successfully and safely extract the aircraft out of the Eden Township's water supply at Ben Boyd Reservoir. Well, the local RFS service and emergency services uh, put out a request to Defence uh, to assist with the recovery of the aircraft that ditched in the town water supply. Yeah, we, we found out about the tasking on Friday, so uh, less than 24 hours after the helo ditched in the dam. Uh, luckily the, the pilot did manage to get out and is now in hospital. Uh, from there we got uh, stood to and made preparations to depart uh, Waterhen in Sydney to make our way down here to assist New South Wales Fire and, and Rescue uh, to conduct the rescue today and the extraction today. Uh, the aircraft was on the other side, it was, it was complicated in, in some sense, but we had the guys there and the expertise and the training to, to carry out the task safely and successfully. And we, we couldn't have done it without the, the support that was already down here. Uh, so obviously Army have been stood up and they've got a fairly big presence in the region. I was certainly pretty proud because there's not too many other organisations that could have done it in uh, such a short time frame. Uh, it's very important, it provides the most of the, uh, the township's water. Uh, so if it was compromised and uh, we did have a, a fuel spill, uh, and that's the township without water for some time. So we managed to do it uh, successfully without any fuel spills, without adding any more uh, danger or, uh, or making the problems worse. Uh, and within a short time frame, we managed to get the helo out uh, without any uh, fuel spills in the, in the township's water supply. Great to have a, a very positive achievement, contributing as an individual, as a diver, also as part of a small dive team to come here collectively to help the bigger picture with uh, RFS and all the other ADF uh, personnel as well.